The new Fine Arts Center at Canterbury School will help students get in touch with their creative side. Wayne 15's Ally McKibben is live at the facility to find out what the 18,000 square foot building has in store for students. Good morning, Ally. Good morning, Pat and Sierra. I am standing right here in the lobby of the new Fine Arts Center, which also doubles as the gallery, which exhibits both student work and alumni work as well. And I'm here with head of school, David Jackson. David, thank you for so much for joining me today. And why don't you tell me what students can expect when they walk in these doors? Yeah, thanks, Allie. Well, when they walk through the doors, they will come into an 18,000 square foot uh, cathedral of fine arts and we have this amazing gallery here we have a recording studio and a podcast studio a 3d art space a 2d art space a choral classroom a band and orchestra room and a state-of-the-art black box theater so it really is an incredible facility for the students and compare that to the facilities that you had before how is this an improvement yeah, before we were mostly teaching and learning out of classroom spaces, and what this facility will allow us to do is have that world-class feel. The students here are incredible. They've been incredible for decades. They've been producing amazing art. Uh, we have incredible faculty as well, but what this space will do uh, will allow them to thrive in their artistic endeavors. And talk a little bit more about the um, access that students will have and how it will help them within school and within bettering their creative sides. Yeah, so the students have access to these facilities throughout the school day. Uh, we'll also have access after school. We'll also do some special programming for the students here at Canterbury and also uh, for students in the broader community. Already, students are starting to think about uh, careers in the arts, and even if they don't go on to careers in the arts, their creative expression that they form here will help them thrive in their future careers, whether that's gonna be in medicine, law, business. So the facility is really going to provide them those opportunities to thrive not only in school but beyond. Thank you so much for chatting with me David. Now the ribbon cutting is starting at 11:30 a.m. today and stay tuned as we're going to check out some of these other classrooms to see what students can walk see what they walk in and live from the Canterbury School Ali McKibben Wayne 15 News.